What does the 2023 year of the water rabbit bring to the Yi Wood Day Master? Regardless of what's happening outside, regardless of what's going on in your 12 animal signs, good stars, bad stars, so-so stars, this series explores what else the 10 day masters can do to align with the energies of 2023 and create growth. So welcome back to the 10 day master series in 2023, where we go beyond the 12 animal signs and take a look at what opportunities the year holds for each of the 10 day masters. In this video, we focus on the Yi Wood Day Master. That's what, this is what it looks like. And nice to meet you. My name is Pauline Chen. Okay. Now, for this video to be useful, please, I need you to know your day master. So link to the free plotters, as always, are in the description. We're looking for this piece of information, this one. You see the, this column that is uh, usually in gold, it has the word day on top. We're looking for this. I know not everyone can read Chinese. I know it's okay, just recognize this character. There's also in English, it says Y-I. Okay, so while you're off plotting your chart, let me just add an important disclaimer here. This, uh, the parts of the chart in my example, as well as the terminologies I will use in this free sharing are copyrighted materials belonging to Dato Joya and the JY Mastery Academy. To learn more about what they have to offer, well, joyyap.com is <coughs> your place to go. So. Let's dig into the Yi Wood, shall we? I'm going to share this as a series of keywords, right? So that uh, you can easily apply the concept to your goals, right? So for the Yi Wood Day Master, the Water Rabbit or Kui Mao, okay, presents as indirect resource producing or sitting on the French star. Now, uh, as usual, we more weightage to the guy at the top, more weightage to this because, you know, low-hanging fruit, all that jazz, it's visible and therefore easily attainable. So the first keyword is connect. The role of indirect resource is always to connect different bits of data together. Hence, we're going to focus on this word connect, okay? Then comes the question, what on earth are we supposed to connect? Well, you could connect your bank account to mine. Just kidding, I wouldn't say, I, I wouldn't say no though, but just kidding. Okay, move on. The friend star represents your sense of self, our sense of self. 2023 can be a year where you prioritize some me time to connect again with yourself. Sometimes in the daily hustle and bustle of life, we put ourselves on the back burner. Haven't you done that before? So this is a good year to prioritize some self-care. The friend star can also represent your uh, network of friends. 2023 is a great year to create some variety among the people you hang out with. Create a more diverse group of friends or reconnect with old friends. Okay? The friend star can also represent people or communities. 2023 for the Yi Wood Day Master could be a year where you act as a bridge between diverse communities. And by the way guys, if you find this useful, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe. If you have questions, you know where to put it. Comments, comments. Okay, and finally, the friend star can be very personal. 2023 is a great year for the Yi Wood Day Master to focus on continuous learning and personal development. This could include learning new skills, complementary skills that can be useful to you in the future. Okay, therefore, taking things, you know, this is what we call when we say we're taking things one step further from the 12 zodiac signs. This is the larger opportunity being handed to you, the Yi Wood Day Master. To make this content useful, connect these terms to your goals for the year. This represents what has been given to you for one year. To use it or not, really up to you. So no doubt for the Yi Wood, this is beginning to feel very much like an inner facing year, isn't it? Especially so if you are a Yi Yo or a Yi Chou, uh, a wood uh, rooster or a, a wood ox. Okay, I would just like to add one more caution though. The indirect resource is all about connecting dots and pieces of information. Therefore, when the indirect resource star becomes too strong, it can turn a little paranoid. So because you're connecting too many dots suddenly, 
okay? Or you see dots where dots don't exist. Uh, time to visit your optometrist when it happens, okay? But in all seriousness, okay, the indirect resource turns paranoid when you have nothing to do. So at the very least, my suggestion would be divert your attention by focusing on personal development. So, okay, that's it for the Yi Wood. This series, short, sweet, and compact, designed to give you keywords that hopefully you will find useful or maybe even inspirational for your goals in 2023. Thank you for watching, and if you're looking to connect with me, my, uh, the links to my socials are in the description. Bye!